Hello, Burden Heights Elementary. My name is Keith mcconnell Lazarski. I am one of the health and phys ed teachers at Burden Heights, as well as this year's site coordinator for survey works for Burden Heights Elementary, as well as Rhode Island Department of Education. This video that you're watching may have got it from within the slide deck that you're viewing here, or maybe through a YouTube link sent out through a communication up from the school. Um, hopefully it's a helpful guide in to the expectations of how to access the survey and why it's important for us to to participate in it. So the slide deck. Here's our lovely main page. This slide right here talks about how the Rhode Island Department of Education uses survey works and every public school in the state uses it. And we get feedback from myself, teachers, my peers, as well as support staff, administrators take a survey, the students take a survey, as well as you, the parents, families, guardians of our children. So it's multiple surveys. They have different questions depending on who's taking it. And all that feedback gets aggregated together. So we get feedback about how our school and community are working together to provide our children with, you know, the best opportunity to learn. This survey will be open until March 31st. That is a Rhode Island Department of Education deadline. It is not controlled by Burnham Heights Elementary or the school department. Over here is a QR code. So if you are one who would rather complete it on a smart device like a cell phone or tablet, rarely easy to do. Um, sometimes you can just do it right through the cell phone camera or you have a QR code reader. If you were to do that, it pops up. All right, it'll bring you right to the family survey page. And I've done it on a computer, a Chromebook, and I've also done it on uh, my cell phone. The experience I find to be very similar to each other was not um, any different or harder either way. This page here has a link. So if you don't want to do it that way, you want to click on the link that's provided in this slide deck, you can do so here. And if you do click on it, It'll bring you again to the same page that I just showed you on the phone. You want to then click on this drop down menu. Instead of scrolling through every public school in the state, you can just start typing in Vernon. Pops up Vernon Heights Elementary School, one socket. Click on take the survey. And then it'll prompt you whether or not your student has an IEP or not. And of course, if they don't, you'll click no, click continue, and it'll prompt you with 48 survey questions that you'll have to respond to. If you do have a student with an IEP, you do want to click this and it has 56 survey questions that you'll have to respond to. Now, if you have multiple children, you do want to answer a survey for each child. Then, then every guardian that's in a house will want to answer for each child. So for me, I have two children, uh, one's in middle school, one's in elementary school. I did have to fill out a survey for each of them. So from our household, household, uh, there were four responses. Now, last year when both were in elementary school, they did have different experiences. So my wife and I, we each answered our own. My wife and I didn't agree on every single aspect. So my perspective, you know, I provided my feedback. My wife provided her feedback. So, but there were four responses that came from a, out of our household to the elementary school. And I say that because we we want as much feedback as possible and we have over 400 students at our school so we should probably be getting at minimum at least a couple hundred responses back from the Burnham Heights community and last year we had a dip in participation from families where I believe you only received like 30 or 35 responses which was a significant drop off and even though the voices that we did hear from was important we really need to get a more accurate perception from parents and guardians like yourselves to give us the best feedback possible because we do use this information to help either guide policy and procedural changes and you know we're always looking to improve the educational experience of our children as well as your experience as a part of the Burnin family so if your child does or doesn't have an IEP you want to select the appropriate choice click continue and then you go through and start selecting responses. It is uh, it is possible to not respond to one 
if you use, if there is a question you're not quite comfortable answering, you don't have to. It'll just be left blank. You'll scroll down to the next question all the way down to the end. And when you're done and happy with all your responses, you click submit and it'll bring you to a confirmation page. And that is it. I would suspect that it would take on average probably about 10, 15 minutes per child to respond to this. Now, once you do start a survey, you do need to finish it. It doesn't save it. So if you have multiple children, but you don't have enough time to fill out all of them, you could always just fill out one and wait until you have more time to fill out the other ones for the other children in your house. If you have any questions, by all means, reach out to us at the school. My email address is on the last slide here. It is klazarski at onesocketschools.com. You could, of course, always reach out to Mr. DeRoger or your classroom teacher. Everyone in the building is pretty familiar with the survey works process. Um, and if you have any questions or any hesitation as to filling this out, uh, you know, please reach out to us. They do not collect and we do not collect any personal data. And as a, someone who takes the survey, I've never seen my name associated to any of the survey responses. I've never seen students' names or teachers' names or parents' names associated to it. This all goes directly to the state, and we just get the results back, usually through a web portal that is usually accessible to everyone. And as a matter of fact, you can see last year's results um, going on to the Rhode Island Department of Education's website. We just have to look for a survey works for 2022 and you can get all the information that we get from there and i hope this information was helpful if it, if you need more again reach out to us and we look forward to hearing from you thank you very much